Some kids and teens got the surprise of a lifetime this morning at the University of Vermont Children's Hospital. A Vermont-born singer-songwriter performed one of his hit songs, and many could not hold back their excitement. ABC 22's Isabel Shoneman with the story. A group of kids and teens had no complaints about their early holiday surprise as they got to experience a private concert with Vermont singer-songwriter Noah Kahn. He sang one of his most popular songs, Stick Season, as families dealing with hospital stays this holiday season felt a sense of normalcy. You are champions as you take the challenge of overcoming your physical and mental health needs. Khan had a special message for his younger fans. It means the world to be in Vermont and to be, uh, to be able to come and play uh, my song Stick Season for you, which is, of course, about Vermont. Sloan and Brigham Page tell me they're huge fans. I was so excited. He's one of my favorite artists. I've heard a lot of Noah Khan songs. And once my mom told me we were coming here, I, I was really excited. Khan even changing some lyrics in his song to be more child friendly. It felt kind of unrealistic. It felt bittersweet and it just was, again, an amazing experience. Dr. First says the holidays can be a tough time for kids to be in the hospital or have to spend time at appointments, making sure the children's hospital can change that feeling, even if only temporarily. For some, the performance brought excitement, but for others, it had a much more emotional meaning. We're here all the time. My daughter has a um, life-threatening disease, and we're 12 years into this journey. So to bring a little normalcy um, and to be invited to something so amazing and lighthearted just makes me emotional um, to see her smile. God that I exist, and it's half my fault. That brings me hope, um, hope that we can fight through anything as a family. And what Noah Khan has done today is really just adds to how special this time of the year is for our Children's Hospital. In Burlington, Isabel Shoneman, ABC 22 News.